Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how to design and cut 3D ornaments using Adobe Illustrator and our lazy cutting machine. So let's get started. Let's start by creating a new file in Adobe Illustrator. Now let's create a 100 by 100 mm circle using the Eclipse tool. Now we will create the space from which we are going to hang our ornaments. Duplicate the circle and resize it. Duplicate that circle and resize. Now let's use the rectangular tool and make a small rectangle. Round its corner, centralize everything and connect the bigger circle with the rectangle. Duplicate the circles and resize it to make the inner circle. Let's put that over the bigger circle to connect them and make the base for our ornaments. Our base is ready. Let's make three copies along with the base as we are going to make a four layered ornament. Now let's go to Canva and download the Christmas elements to design our ornament. You can choose any elements. I am going to download reindeer, Christmas tree and snowflake to download this ornament. Make sure to download in PNG format with transparent background. Now let's open the shape in Adobe Illustrator. Now we will use the trace tool to trace our vector and then we will use the expand option and simply ungroup it and delete the white area. Let's put it in the middle of our ornaments. Now we'll do the same with Christmas tree and snowflake.
Now we will use the shape builder tool to join the elements with the ornament layer. You simply have to use shift key with mouse to join them and the alt key with mouse to eliminate the extra area. Our four layers are ready. Now let's save it and open it in our Lightburn software to cut them out. I have a diode laser cutting machine, Sculfen S9, and I'm using the following settings for MDF 2.2 mm materials. Speed is 300, power is 100, with three passes. Sorry about this mess. This is the final result of our 3D Christmas ornament which we designed using Adobe Illustrator. There's a link in the description to download these files if you want to make it at home. And do let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or you want to show your results.